So with that, I think we have just enough time to talk a little bit about Faces of Moon project, uh, which we are starting this, this week. Um, and yeah, that was the second agenda item. And I don't think there's time remaining for this, so I won't. Maybe I'll do that on Tuesday. Um, so let me leave a student view so that I can actually post an announcement that I was composing just before this meeting. Um, so I'm gonna post this and uh, we, uh, I will kind of uh, go over some of the things. Um, so most of the phases of Moon Project, you can um, read about it yourself. And uh, in fact, I'll, I'll, let me bring this agenda item back on Tuesday to uh, demonstrate some of the processes that you should be going through when you are doing the observations. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate that with the Stellarium because that's the easiest way to do it on a desktop. Um, um, so what I want you to address on recording now is one small aspect of this project. So, um, so the biggest part of the project is really the observation. Uh, I did, uh, yeah, the link won't work until module three is unlocked. <laughs> um, and uh, really the observation part is what's needed and, um, and so, um, and observation doesn't necessarily mean uh, taking pictures of it. <laughs> In fact, you know, a lot of these great astronomers we've been learning about, they, they didn't have photos back then. All the observation they did were sketches. So, so, uh, so as you are doing observation, I do want you to make an observation. And for photo of the moon, uh, I do want to encourage you to try if you, think you have the right equipment to, to do it. So um, so that's why I'm putting this in there at all. In the previous semesters, I didn't have this step at all. But um, this semester, I, I want you to encourage you to try taking photo of the moon yourself. But I put it in as optionally because you will face certain challenges. And that's what this announcement that I just posted uh, is meant to illustrate. I, Prepare for this back last Friday, and I've been meaning to post it before, but doing it now. And uh, here you can see some of the differences between different cameras. And um, this is the kind of quality that I think most people will have access to. So this photo was taken with my cell phone, which um, is not the high stand, but it's better than what I had a few years ago. <laughs> and this is with the uh, zoom feature of the thing. And uh, it's, this is kind of what I mean, our eyes are kind of really optically better than a lot of um, things, cameras you have. Um, a lot of things that you can see quite clearly with your eyes, when you try to take a photo of it, you will realize that, oh, it doesn't come out right, or it doesn't come out well. And moon is kind of like that. Um, and I could, I think this is where I actually did the fiddle with the ex exposure a little bit to try to expose it correctly for the moon and it still looked terrible. And for, um, unless you are uh, a pho photo, I think that's the term or, unless you are into photography, this might be the highest quality you, are access, you have access to. And I think the faces of moon that are at current kibbutz and later full moon, um, I think this is still worthwhile. So I want you to, you know, take the time to orient yourself. And here I'm looking southward. So I know to, the, to my right is west, as I can see from the photo west side is lit. I, I think it, even with the poor quality photos, it's worth trying it for the sake of trying and what the quality looks like. But um, there will be times of the month when, um, when the quality that you can get and the portion of the moon that's visible simply won't be enough if this is the highest quality you have access to. And that's why I'm saying optionally. So if you somehow you can't do it, then don't worry about it too much. But if you can, give it a try. And um, the others are me kind of demonstrating what I could do with some of the cameras uh, with the better optics, really. This is, where, why did I capitalize zoom? <laughs> I'll, I'll just leave it. Um, so 
one of the things that's great about some of the older cameras is they had the proper optics. So this is a camera with a telephoto ish zoom, and this is not at the full zoom. This is at the full zoom. And actually, if you zoom in further digitally um, on your screen or whatever, then you can actually see that. Uh, does it not? Let me. Uh, you can actually see some of the features that were described in the textbook, these creators. I was surprised to see it. I wasn't expecting to see it. I guess I've never seen a, taken a picture of a quarter month. Uh, these features are supposed to be most visible um, around these boundaries because sun is shining from sideways, it's casting shadow and all that. Um, so, so that's uh, with uh, my 10X optical zoom camera. It's uh, still not the you know, best of quality you can get. Uh, you can do better if you have a, a telephoto zoom. And somehow, ironically enough, um, it was this camcorder that I have for recording my other class of stuff. It has actually a telephoto zoom and it was uh, actually taking better quality photo than my proper camera. Um, so, you know, if you have access to equipment, I think this is worthwhile to, for people to try so that you can see what kind of observation is possible with minimal equipment or, you know, equipment that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. But not everyone has that. And, you know, having good camera is not a requirement for this class. So, so this is optional. If you can take a photo, please do. Um, if you can't, what is required is the observation that you actually see it. And you can, um, I think for the submission, observation say one through five and not which side. Do I tell you to, I might not be telling you to draw a diagram. Uh, uh, yeah, do feel free to include the diagrams if you wish. Um, but um, the, depending on the format you are submitting this in, including diagram might be cumbersome. If that's the case, then um, you can just uh, describe what the diagram would show. Um, so that's coming up. We'll, we'll spend more time on Faces of Moon project probably tomorrow. Um, and starting with the tomorrow, I'll also post in the announcement, like uh, rising and uh, setting times for the moon so that people have some information on when to go uh, looking for the moon. <laughs>